it's quite obvious that it's caused by aggregation uh, of the notch 3 protein. And the notch 3 protein is very important for the vascular smooth muscle cells in, in, the, in the vessel wall. However, when we have mutations, then the, the notch 3 protein starts to aggregate, which causes the vessels to be dysfunctional and uh, yeah, later on the vascular smooth muscle cells are um, degenerating. We have a quite uh, straightforward approach. We want to get rid of these aggregates and uh, we have aimed to do that with the immunotherapy. And this is what we have done and what we have published last year. And we are now continuing to work on that to develop that even more. So we have performed an active immunization uh, where we have, um, we have done the aggregated notch 3 protein in the lab and we have immunized the mice for four months. And the Cadacil mouse model we use uh, has a mutation which also develops Cadacil-like symptoms after a while. We have, however, done a preventive study now before the onset of the aggregation to see if we can halt or reduce the, the accumulation and not the aggregation. And that seemed to be very successful. So uh, we reduced the, the number of aggregates in the vessel wall and also we have looked into the serum to see if we can find any relevant biomarkers uh, for NOTCH3. And we could also see that the, there were changes in, in NOTCH3 extracellular domain in the serum. So we think that is a good both prognostic and also a therapeutic biomarker. Actually, next week we will start a new round of active immunization, but in a more severe Cadacil mouse model. And uh, this is uh, the reason for that is that we want to see if active immunization also can reduce the number of aggregates in a mouse which has an ongoing pathology. So this is not a preventive study, it's more a therapeutic study. And we want to do that uh, also longer time. So uh, nine months, starting from three months old to 12 months old mice. So that will be super um, interesting to see if that also can be a good therapy for actually patients in the long run, which actually come with symptoms. So we are doing quite a lot of omics as well. We're doing transcriptomics in the brain vasculature of the mouse model uh, from different ages, but we also do omics in human uh, cadacil uh, brain tissue in the vessel wall, uh, transcriptomics and also proteomics. So we have like a wide variety of different omics methods to explore if they can be used as, as uh, biomarkers, but also uh, as therapeutic targets.